Hello guys, uh, peace of Christ to all. Uh, this is an answer for one of the Abduls in uh, Facebook. You know, uh, the Muslim Abduls always they come with the questions, it's very silly. And uh, they knew it's silly, and they knew they are like acting like, uh, you know, uh, it's a silly nation anyway. I, I never saw a Muslim asking question, it deserved even to be a question. Uh, you know, like if you watch a Muslim in, the, in Muslim TV, uh, especially in Arabic TV programs, they, you know, you will see the Muslim woman, she is calling, asking the mullah if she can shave her vagina in, in, in Wednesday or it's better to shave it in uh, Thursday. Uh, you know, this is how silly and disgusting they are. You know, you will never find a Muslim, he asks you a question which is considered a real question. This is why the religion, you know, Al Khomeini, he is a Shia, he was attacking the Sunni. He said that the Sunni, they have the biggest library of bathroom in the world. And he is actually telling the truth because they have thousands and actually hundreds of thousands of books. It's just about what to do in the bathroom. And the fact, at the same time, their prophet himself was full of lies. Like when you hear somebody speaking about uh, uh, you know, too much of uh, cleaning and bathroom, you think they are clean people. You know, this is the Muslims, they are full of lies. And even Muhammad himself, he is full of them. Uh, to the point, actually, Muhammad, he said that Allah... He examined his prophecy as a prophet by lies. Uh, you see in here that his wife, he used to sit and uh, put his head in the lap of his wife, Zainab, and she used to pick up, up, you know, picking up uh, uh, lies from his head. Uh, I'm not sure after that, if she, after she picked it up, if she ate it or not, but uh, at least we knew that Muhammad is a full of lies. And then the Muslims, they spend their day speaking about what they should do when they go to the bathroom, um, uh, what, which foot I have to go inside the bathroom, all their questions is very silly because their prophet is a silly prophet. Actually, you know, the, there's a hadith Muhammad, he said, uh, about the spitting. Uh, he said, you know, you cannot spit in front of you because you are spitting at the uh, uh, forward where Allah is stand. And if you, you cannot spit in your right side because if you spit at the right side, this is where the angel he stand. So if you want to spit, either you spit in the left or your side where the shaitan he stand off next to you stand up or you spit in your clothes and maybe you don't believe me let me show you this is Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number book, book number 8 hadith number 399 you will see Muhammad is saying to them as I told you you cannot uh, spit in the direction of the Qibla because then you will be spitting at Allah uh, so either you spit uh, uh, under your foot or you spit in your clothes and here the Muslim they try to make it look nicer they said he grabbed the corner of his sheet and spat on it. But Muhammad was, was outside. He is not a... What sheet? Unless Muhammad was wearing a sheet. It was his clothes. It says thawb in Arabic. So, the, the, you know, they lie and they say it's a sheet. But anyway, who in the world is going to spit in his sheet unless he is a filthy? Why you want to spit in your sheet? If somebody come into your house and he spit at the sheet of your bed, what do you say to him? Be honest. This is what Muhammad is about. So Muslims, they spend their day speaking about, uh, you know, stupid, silly stuff because this is their prophet. He is a very silly man, you know. Uh, even their prophet, he told them that the, the one who don't listen to him, Allah will put a flag in his ass. Imagine, in the judgment day, everybody will have a flag. It's hooked up to his anus. This is the Sahih Muslim. Uh, narrated of authority of etc the messenger of Allah may uh, be upon him said the day of judgment there will be a, f a flag fixed behind the buttocks of every person guilty of the uh, breach of uh, faith have you ever heard about a silly stupid thing what what is that man why 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 ever uh, Allah is going like okay bend over let me put the flag in your ass okay next one uh, in, you know what is that have you ever heard about a stupid teaching like this? It's, it's a silly prophet. No wonder they are silly. If God is all powerful, if God is all knowing, why he need a flag to know which one is the bad and which one is the is the good and where he fix it in their in their ass? I'm I'm trying to show you those things, uh, just to show you how stupid uh, Muslims are. This is why I advise all the Abdul, if you want to learn really about your religion get my book the deception of allah the name is made as you see because the quran says allah is the best of the deceivers 
And you will see there a lot of secrets you guys you never heard of, even if you are a Muslim. Because actually, Muslims are the last one to know. You know, a Muslim man is the same one, the same as a man, his wife is cheating on him. He is the last person to know. It's exactly what happened to Muhammad. His wife was, was sleeping around, and it was him the last one to know. And when he knew, he didn't dare to do anything because he was afraid of Abu Bakr. So he brought the witnesses who accused his wife of having sex with the guy, young guy, handsome, not like Muhammad, very old man and look ugly. So she was asleep with Safwan, and he did beat those witnesses hundreds of lashes. Even one of them, he was a poetry man of Muhammad. After that, he could not walk again correctly. Why? Just because he witnessed that Aisha, she was a bad woman. And actually, there's a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari says that Aisha, she was a woman who used to hunt men for sex. And this is why the Shia, they say that Aisha is a whore. Uh, uh, but anyway, you know, uh, we, we just give you an introdu you know, like introduction for our topic. And this is my book, again, for those who would like to have it. You can go to Amazon.com and you can order it from there. Now, let us go to the question Muslims they ask, which is a very silly question. One of the Abdus in Palto, in, uh, sorry, in Facebook, his name is Asif Sheikh. And he's saying, like, why did Jesus uh, commit suicide? You know, it, it, it's, it is extremely silly, stupid, you know, but it's okay. They are Muslims. You know, don't expect Muslims to be smart. The one who believe that Allah will make his penis in this palm tree, what do you think he is going to be? The one who believe that Allah is going to be, a, you know, to put a flag in his anus, what do you think he is going to be? The one who believe that Allah will give him uh, 70,000 boys to be servant. What do you think he is? He must be silly. He must be silly. But anyway, we will answer this silly question and then we will go and we, we will speak about something extremely important. We will expose Muhammad and all of those things, by the way, you will find in my book, The Deception of Allah. Now, all of us, we knew that even in the Quran, Muhammad, he said that the Jewish, they tried to kill Jesus. This is chapter 4, verse number 157. And you can go to any translation you want. You will see the Quran given actually a very silly, stupid uh, explaining for the crucifixion of Jesus. And they are saying that uh, they said we killed Jesus. Who are they according to Muslims? The Jewish. So when a Muslim he says to us that Jesus, why Jesus commits suicide, it's very stupid of them because everybody knows, including the Muslims, uh, that even in their book, according to their book, the difference is Allah, he made somebody look like Jesus appeared to be killed by the Jew which means he gave them somebody else he looked like Jesus so they killed him so even in your Quran it says that Jesus was crucified but the one who is a fake Jesus which Allah he cloned so the one who killed him is who is the Jew how you say somebody he commits suicide if those people who they are killing him it's not him it's again a silly stupid question the, the Muslim they try to make it this way well, Jesus, if he knew that he is going to be crucified, why he don't run? Uh, the answer is very easy. He is not a coward like your prophet. Very, very simple. You know, if we have an officer in the army, if we have somebody, he decide, he told his people, you know, you guys, you go and, you know, you, you save yourself. I will, I will die for you and save you. Because he's a hero. Because he's not a coward like your prophet. Your prophet, he asked Ali ibn Abi Talib to sleep in his bed so he can run. Because he's a coward, risking the life of little kid, his name is Ali, so they might think that Muhammad in the bed, they go inside the room and they kill him according to the Muslim stories. The one who do that, who ask others to die for him is the coward. Jesus don't do that. He did not. So in the Bible it says clearly that the one who killed him is the Jews and Jesus never commits suicide. Therefore you Muslims are a bunch of silly people like your prophet. But anyway, and now we will speak about something extremely important. What about Muhammad's death? In Sahih al-Bukhari, book number, book number 59, hadith number 713, you will see Muhammad saying the following. And remember, Muslims, this is your translation, this is your book, this is your words, not my words, because I know you, I know you, huh? I know you. And right away, the Muslim, they will say you too, this hadith is weak. This hadith is not weak, it's very strong, and it's in Sahih al-Bukhari. So shut up and save yourself the lies. Your prophet himself saying, your prophet, O Aisha, 
I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. Khaybar is a Jewish tribe. Okay? And it, at this time, I feel my orta is being cut from that poison. This is, was when? This is, was in the death of Muhammad. Muhammad saying he is dying from poison. Now, if the Muslim, they would say, Muhammad, no, he did not buy, die by poison. It's me, Muhammad is a liar again. He is lying. He is not dying from poison. Or at least he is ignorant, stupid. I thought Muslims, they believe that whatever Muhammad, he say, is inspired from Allah. So, when Muhammad him saying, you know, in his death, he says, I'm dying because of the poison, which I ate in Khaybar, and my orta is cut off because of it. Muhammad, he knew better. Don't you Muslims believe that Muhammad knew better? So now, here we have two questions. Number one question, why Allah did not save him the same way he saved Jesus? Here we go. The Jewish killed Jesus, according to the Christian Bible. The Jewish, they tried to kill Jesus, according to the Muslim Quran. According to the Muslim Quran, Allah saved Jesus. Why Allah did not save Muhammad from the poison of the Jewish women? And by the way, the Jewish women, Muhammad, he killed her family, her children, everybody. So she is doing justice. She is not a killer. It is Muhammad who killed all his all her tribe. So why Allah in here did not save Muhammad? It's a good question. Because maybe Muhammad is not worth it, but Jesus is worth it. Why Allah decide to make Muhammad die like a rat? Uh, 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 poison, you know? Imagine for this man, he is... Can, can you imagine how much pain is a poison? And especially Muhammad, he dies slowly by poison. He dies slowly, not, not a fast death. So uh, uh, it was a very painful death. It was a very ugly death. And he could not eat anything. Whatever he eat, he, he throw up. And Allah don't want to save him. But in here we will find something. Actually, you will find those stories, by the way, again in my book, The Deception of Allah. This is why I'm advising you all, if you are Abdul Muslims, to buy it. Not only the Christians. You will find at the same time that Muhammad is exposing himself in a very nice way. Remember with me that the one where Muhammad, he feel the pain is, is cut it off, is his orta. Okay? I want you to remember this carefully, please. Because now we will show you something amazing. Amazing. Proving Muhammad to be a false liar, even from his book. Read with me carefully from the Quran. This is chapter 69, verse number 46. Read carefully, please. Chapter 69, verse number 46. And this is uh, the translation of Muhsin Khan. You can read any translation you want. He says, about the one who lie. This is about what? About the one who lie about Allah. What Allah will do? Allah will cut off his orta. <laughs> but Muhammad, he just said, that he, his orta is cut off from poison. Let us read the verses together, guys. I'm not making things up. Let us read together. You can choose any translation you want. This is the verse. Read it with me, please. You will see that, uh, and if he, Muhammad, and Allah, imagine here, Allah is naming who? Naming Muhammad by name. If he, Muhammad, had forged a false saying concerning us, Allah, we surely have sized him by his right hand or the, with the power and might, and we certainly would cuff, cut off his artery, orta. It's very clear. Muhammad, he was cut off his orta because he's lying about God. And by the way, somebody will say, oh, this is maybe that this is a proof that Allah is God. No, I believe that our God, he made this happen to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet. Muhammad, he made a lie. He, he never thought that this will happen to him. He never thought that this will happen to him. And here we go, the Quran is proving Muhammad again that he is a false liar because it says clearly that this is a verse, a chapter made only for Muhammad. And if he, Muhammad, who he? Muhammad. If Muhammad, he lie about Allah. If he vraged, if he, if he making a fraud about Allah. If he is making Quran, it's not from Allah. What Allah will do? He will cut off his life artery. And this is how Muhammad, he died. So what do you want more proof that Muhammad is a false prophet, you silly Muslims? I advise you to buy my book and maybe, maybe you will be smarter than other Muslims. Christ is Lord, Islam is silly, made by a city for the city. I mean to that.